Hello, welcome to this video series on maximum and minimum values. We're going to look at what it takes to be a maximum and minimum, what are the different types of maximum and minimums, and hopefully by the end, you'll have a better grasp of it. My name is Nikai Rimmer. I'm going to lead you through this journey. Let's start off with definitions. First up, we're going to have a function f, and we're going to have the definition of what it means to be the absolute maximum value of the function. Okay. Now it's going to occur at an x value called c, and then you plug that c into the function and you get the f of c. The y value is the maximum value, the absolute maximum value, if it's bigger than every other y value for all the x's in the domain of the function. The best way to say this is basically it's the biggest the function ever gets. Okay, so then we're going to flip that for the minimum. It'll be the smallest the function ever gets. The f of c, the y value, is less than or equal to the f of x for all other x in the domain. So those are absolute maximum values and absolute minimum values, and that's the definition there. Sometimes you might see the word global in place of absolute. All right, what about the other type, though? Local max and local min. Now, the local maximum value is going to be the biggest that the function ever gets, but only in a small interval. It's very important that we have this open interval that um, we can say in this neighborhood, in this in this small neighborhood around this x equals c value, the f of c is the biggest that the function ever gets. And so open neighborhood means you can need to go both ways, left and right, and not contain the endpoints. And so it's it's basically a peak. A little a little a little small maximum. Maybe not the biggest maximum, not the absolute maximum, but a local maximum. Locally it's the biggest it ever gets. Or locally it's the smallest the function ever gets. It's a valley. That's what a local minimum value is. Okay? So um, Mount Everest is the, the biggest peak in the United States. That's the, abs the, the summit of Mount Everest is the absolute maximum value. Okay. But there's other high altitude <laughs> places where those guys are local maximum values. Okay. But, you know, we're going to take a look at a graph. Enough of these definitions. Let's go to a graph. So... Scribble Scrabble function. We're going to label some points on here. Let's first look at the important x values. I'm going to mark them off, give them some numbers, and their associated y values. All right. So, first up, we have at x equals negative 3, a local maximum value. It's a peak. The actual value is equal to 4. It occurs at x equals negative 3. All right, great. At x equals negative 2, we have a local minimum value. And that value is y equals 3. At x equals 1, we have an absolute maximum value. That's the biggest the function ever gets. But absolute maximum values are also local maximum values. You know, Mount Everest is the biggest peak in the United States, but it's the biggest peak in the neighborhood around it too. And so all of the values that are absolute maximum values inside of the interval automatically are local maximums as well. Okay, next we'll move to x equals 4. We have another local minimum value, uh, negative 1. And then what's happening at 5 is kind of strange. Uh, the function is smooth up until that particular point there. We have this sharp point at 5. But that's okay. We're going to find out that that's even a possibility for a local. It's a peak, right? So it's a local maximum value. Okay. And what's the smallest value that the function ever gets? It occurs at the end point at x equals 6. So the domain of this function is from negative 4 to 6. Okay. And so... We have uh, an absolute 
maximum value or an absolute minimum value can occur at the endpoints. But when it comes to a local maximum value or a local minimum value, they cannot occur at the endpoints. You need an open interval. You need to be able to peek on both sides and see and make sure it's the lowest or see and make sure that it's the biggest. And therefore, local minimums cannot occur at the endpoints. The absolute can, for sure, but the locals can't. All right, you can extend the definition to be that for sure. But for now, though, our definition doesn't allow for that. OK, and then lastly, whenever you have an absolute maximum or absolute minimum inside, guarantee that it's going to be also a local. All right, great. So now we got all the definitions out the way and we got a good graph. We understand kind of what's going on. Uh, we want to do is uh, find out what we got to do to find these. If I have a graph, I can find it. But what if I just have a function? All right. So let's take a look at that in the next video. Thank you for watching. My name is Nakaya Rimmer. Um, stay tuned for the next video. The link will be down in the description.